Hello guys and girls, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are gonna do a code commit demo. So what are we gonna do? So we are gonna create a repository from a code commit console. Then we are gonna use Cloud9 to clone the repository. And then we are gonna add our own little program to the local clone. And then we're gonna push our very first commit back to the repo. One important note, uh, it is strongly recommended to use IAM user instead of root account uh, to do all this. Because to connect to the code commit repository, you need to use secret keys and secret access keys. Um, so you don't want to use the keys for the root account. And uh, you can watch the IAM users and role video under AWS basics um, to understand how do you create different users with different roles. All right, let's get to the demo. Okay, let's jump into the console. Uh, I'm going to show the group and the users and policies uh, that I'm using for this demo. I'm also going to show how you can generate the Git credentials. Okay, let's go to IAM. Uh, I'm going to use the group developer and you can see uh, this developer group has code commit full access and Cloud9 user full access along with a couple of other services. Uh, so I have already two users defined, developer Bob and developer Tina. Uh, let's click Tina. I want to show you one thing that you need to do as well. So uh, click security credentials. Uh, so when you created the user, you have the username, password, all that stuff. However, if you scroll down, you see this HTTPS uh, git credentials for AWS code commit. Um, so you have to generate this. If you have to, uh, if you want to work with uh, code commit, so click generate. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste it into a notepad uh, for our future use. Okay, we are back to console. Okay, now I'm going to log in as a developer Tina and create a repository. Okay, I'm logged in as developer Tina. Um, so now what I'm going to do is go to code commit and uh, create a repository from console. Okay, let's create a repository. Hello world. Uh, very, our very first code commit repo. Click create. Okay, so the repository is created. I'm just gonna create a uh, random file. Hey, this is a text file. Okay, let's give the file name as uh, readme.txt commit. Okay, so if I go back, so we have our repository. Um, if you click this HTTPS, it gives you the HTTPS link. Uh, okay, so now let's let's spin up a Cloud9 IDE and we're gonna clone our repository. Okay, I'm in AWS Cloud9 IDE. Uh, let's cross out this welcome thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'll try to uh, clone it, okay? So we already have the um, URL copied. Okay, so if I do git clone, paste the URL, aha, uh, now it's gonna ask for the username and password that we created before. So let's do that. Username developer Tina at that number and then the password. Press enter. Okay, here you go. So if you see on the left, we have the Hello World repository uh, cloned with uh, readme.txt. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just add uh, a sample Python Hello World into it, uh, save it, and then push it back uh, to the repository. Okay, but before we do all that, <laughs> important things first. Uh, themes, changing the theme to uh, night. Okay, don't ask again, yes. Okay, here we go, much better. Uh, another thing we're gonna do is view uh, 
syntax and click Python. Okay. And now we can do a new file. Uh, this is a pretty simple uh, program. I'm just trying to show how um, the clone and pushing it back to the repo works. Hello world from from cloud nine. Okay, let's save this. Hello world.py. Click save. Oh, we can even run this for fun. There we go. Hello world from cloud nine. Okay, so now uh, we put a program in. So now let's push this back to the repository. Okay, you go back to bash. Okay, let me go into the repository folder. It's case sensitive. Okay, so now, uh, so you're gonna use the same git commands because that's the beauty of code commit because underlying version control software is still git. Uh, so we're gonna do git add hello world.py. Okay, and then we're gonna commit our changes. Git commit minus m added customary hello world program. There we go. And finally, we're gonna push our first commit. So we're gonna do git push minus u origin master. Okay, so it's asking for the username and password. Uh, so we're gonna give the same username and password that we created. There we go. Okay, so we pushed it back. Now let's go back to the code commit console and see if you, our hello world.py program made it into the repo. So if we go here, click hello world. So here we go, hello world.py. Um, so it got added from the Cloud9 IDE. So one interesting uh, thing, if you want to see the commit, so you'll see on the left, there are a bunch of other uh, menus. So if you click commit, it's gonna show all the commit history, added readme and then added our hello world program. So if you click this, uh, it's gonna show a little bit of more detail and the uh, changes. All right guys, that's how you create a repository. Uh, you clone it in your IDE of choice, uh, make some changes and push it back uh, to the repository master. Um, all right, see you guys in the next lecture.